What a fantastic investment this Mexico Chicharito shirt was. Hey everyone, it's Mr. Flying Pig HD here. Just want to have my say on the current situation at Manchester United under Louis van Gaal. It's coming up to that period in time where he said to judge him, said judge me after three months in charge, not at the start after our first couple of debacles at the start of the season. So I'm going to do some freaking judging now. Louis, you should be doing better, man. Simple as that. I mean, the investment we had in the summer, 150 million. Di Maria, Falcao, you know, great, fantastic attacking talents that we've got in our side now. Fantastic. To, a, to an extent, they're performing. You know, Di Maria's been an absolute revelation since coming to Manchester United. Okay, the last couple of games, he's maybe been off the boil. Falcao scored a goal for us. Hasn't really featured that much fitness as usual. He's a top quality talent. He will be great. But the start of the season, one of the major problems, the reasons, one of the major reasons why we've had such a poor start to the season is because we don't have that balance in the side. We've got amazing attacking talents. Rooney, Mata, Falcao, Di Maria... You know, great players. Robin Van Persie, great players on paper at least, you know. But have they really been doing that out there on the pitch? I'd argue not. Maybe Di Maria, maybe Rooney to an extent. RVP is a big worry for me. You'd think coming in under, you know, Louis Van Gaal coming in, them ha having worked together in the past, the great relationship they'd have, you'd think that would really kick on in terms of Robbie Van Persie's... Uh, Robbie Van Persie, who's that? Robin Van Persie's performances out there. You'd think it would only help. But so far this season, he's been massively off the pace. He's off the boil. He's out of form. And it's a worry because he is our talismanic goal scorer up there. And it's a massive problem when you don't have Robin Van Persie in form. Last, you know, the first season when he came to Manchester United, our team, yeah, you could say it was a bit ropey. Fergie had us playing like an absolute machine still, though. And you got your ball to Robin Van Persie and he banged it in the back of the net. It's just not doing that at the moment. And I worry about that because, if anything, he should be better now under LVG. But he's, he's not doing it right now. But listen, form is, is temporary. Class is permanent. He'll be back. I'm confident in Robin Van Persie. But it doesn't matter having all these attacking talents in your squad, whether they're performing or not. If you can't keep the opposition out of your, from scoring from your freaking net, basically. We don't have that balance. We all know in the summer we needed to go out there and address the problem at the back. We needed to sign a Hummels, a PK, a Sergio Ramos, or, you know, whoever. Sign a top quality player, break the bank, bring them in. Get that top quality back line. We don't have the balance. It doesn't matter how good you are going forward if you concede more than your freaking score. Look at the Jose Mourinho sides. Fantastic at the back. They play from the back. They build from the back. They're strong at the back. You can't penetrate them at the back so easy, man. And that's what makes them win freaking games. That's what makes them pick up points. And it gives the attacking players the impetus to know we've got this solid rock at the back of our freaking team who can just... You know, who, who can free us up and actually means that we can go out there and we can play up front. We can score the goals. We, we don't have to worry about teams, uh, you know, scoring goals against us at the back. So it's just very disappointing the start we've had to this season so far under LVG. If this was last year under David Moyes, we'd have been calling for his head already. So you have to say it's been a, been a lacklustre start from Louis van Gaal. You know, he's come in and we had a great preseason, 3-5-2. He's tried to implement it. We started it the first couple of games of the season. Didn't work for us, but he's had to know how to change things up. I like us in the 4-1-2-1-2. I think that is a good formation for us. It suits us. Dean Rout on the left. You know, you've got Rooney in the hole, Falcao, Van Persie potentially up top. It sounds like a great team, but it doesn't matter if you've got ropey defenders like Chris Morning, you know, coming in at the back there. Phil Jones, you know, who I've got a lot of faith in, to be honest, but it has been a bit hit and miss this season. Johnny Evans, you know, is he United quality really? I think he's been great for Manchester United over the last few years, but... Not this season, not this season. Okay, maybe he's not played that many games. We've had suspension problems. We've had injury problems. We've been plagued by injury problems at the back. But even if you choose our, uh, our best possible starting, uh, starting back four, it's still not up there with the standards of you know, the top four teams in the league. Basically, we're Derby County at the back. You know, it's, it's unacceptable, really. That is a major problem for us. That's why we've had such a poor start to the season, because we've been shipping goals left, right and centre. We all know we needed a top quality player in, to come in, in in the window, command that back line, organise with that experience who doesn't melt under pressure like Smalling did yesterday, basically. We didn't get that. And that's basically the main problem. That's where all of our problems have stemmed from this season is from the back. But I have faith in Louis van Gaal. I have that optimism. He is the right man for the job. He's got that tactical ability. Look at his CV. You know, the, the, the chap's been there and he's done that. He's a top quality manager. He can attract the top quality names to the club, as he did in the summer. Di Maria Falco, brilliant. Couldn't do that last year under David Moyes. He couldn't attract, attract the freaking moth to the flame. We got Fellaini and, and Juan Mata in the January transfer window just simply because Chelsea didn't want him anymore. So, you know, in, in terms of that, I feel positive going forward. I think we are going in the right direction. There was positives to take from our performances against the big teams so far this season. We've been dropping points left, right and centre against lesser teams, which is massively frustrating. But if you look at how we performed against Chelsea, it was a very good performance. You look at how we performed against City yesterday with 10 men, we can take a lot of positives from that. So we just need to, we just need to sign a top quality centre back in the, in the January transfer window or two, maybe a right wing back, maybe a central defensive midfielder as well. 
We've invested all that money in the summer. Go out there, invest a bit more and get us the team that we rightfully deserve. We need world-class talent in every position. Look at the teams of Manchester United in the last 20 years, the back line, okay? You've got Gary Neville, Rio, Vidic at the peak of their powers, Everett at the peak of his... That's a great back line. That's world-class, right? Before that, you know, you've got your Bruces, your Pallisters, your Irwins, your Parkers. Top quality back line, right? Now, what have we got, man? Raphael, what's the right? This is probably the best. Raphael, Johnny Evans, Phil Jones, Luke Shaw. Oh, it sounds a little bit ropey, doesn't it? We need a top quality marquee central de defensive player in there to sort it out. Oh, what do you think about it? What do you think the reasons that Louis van Gaal's had such a tough start to the season? Do you think it's the fact that we didn't address the, the problems that we, we needed uh, to address in, in the summer and we just went out there and we went, we went mental, we signed for Alcau, we got attacking talents, but we still left with the same Derby County back four, basically. So is that the issue? Are there other reasons? Let me know below. Please comment below. Be very interested to find out my general verdict of uh, Louis van Gaal's tenure so far is you should be doing better, lad. We've had an absolutely gash start to the season. It has to be said. Half the points that Chelsea have got. It's unacceptable, really. But I feel positive going forward. I like the way we're starting to play now under Louis van Gaal. The philosophy is starting to take shape. You know, we're, 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 we're keeping the ball a lot better. We're getting at teams. Our wingers, you know, Di Maria's fantastic. Rooney's come back into the side now. Obviously, a massive talismanic player for us. There's a lot of hope. But we're ropey at the back. We are too ropey at the back. We've got the worst defence out the top four by a long shot. So that needs to be addressed. What do you think about it? What do you think about Louis van Gaal's uh, start so far? Do you think he's still the right man for the job? Let me know. I'm really interested to see. Don't worry, you know, about people persecuting you for saying you think Louis van Gaal should leave. I understand it. This time last year, David, if, 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 if this was David Moyes, we'd have been calling for his freaking head right now. But because it's Louis van Gaal, because he has that reputation, because of the players that he attracted in the summer and some of the performances we put in this season, there is that glimmer of hope for us. I believe we, we, we can still make top four this season as long as we address the problems in the January transfer window and get some top quality defenders in. What do you think about it? This is Mr. Flying PhD here. Give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. I hope you enjoyed this random ramble on a Monday morning. It's absolutely pissing down outside. It's a, a lovely English day, has to be said. I'm off to work now. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Take it easy and sort your freaking lives out.